Hey neighbors, today is finally the day. We are finally getting our custom closet. I'm so excited. When we first moved into the house, um, I had already had Ikea books. Like we went to Ikea, I picked the closet, I designed the closet, literally I spent hours on the pack system but when it came down to get in the closet, when we moved into the house, it was summertime, we were so excited. And I was like, well, I think I'd rather have a a, um, a gazebo. And, so, and I was like, you know, the closet is more a me thing because Sean doesn't really care about that. And so I was like, let's just cancel the closet. It was literally gonna be delivered in like three days. And I was like, let's just cancel the closet, buy the gazebo. Um, it's not an even exchange, but it saved money because the gazebo was cheaper, of course. But recently, long story short, I saw um, our closet builder having a sale. I tell my husband, I was like, it's time, babe. It's on sale. Like, can I just, like, get, you know, a quote? And he was like, yeah, just get a quote so at least we could see how much it costs. So the girl came. She built the, you know, she did the design and everything. I didn't have to do nothing. She measured everything. And um, I told my husband to quote him was like, sure, go ahead. So, so I'm getting my closet today. The next clip you will see will be us cleaning out our closet because everything has to be taken out of it. They're gonna remove the wire shelving, thank God, and fill the holes, thank God. But um, we had to remove all of our clothes and shoes and stuff like that. So when you enter the closet, this is our bathroom, this way. When you enter the closet, my stuff is right here. This is what gets on my nerves the most because I hate walking in and just seeing stuff. And then when you turn this way, you know, got the shoes and the dirty, the dirty clothes. These are actually clean clothes. These are dirty clothes, but you know how that go. We just got back from our trip, so. Then we got all these shoe boxes. These are all my shoes, 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 my shoes. And then these are like a mix of, those are his boots. And those are my boots. The rest of those are my shoes. Um, That's annoying, it's like knickknacks. I'm ready to get rid of it. We've also been using these containers. Ugh, over it. And clearly like, you know, it's just stuff on top of everything bags bagged up and then we just got little knickknacks then this is his side which is more clean because he has less clothes um well i wouldn't say that i just like things to be a particular way everything's color coded for the most part but ugh, anyway Oh, forgot to show y'all this. My bags are up here. Which I'm like ready for them to have a real home. And then Sean puts shoes up here. And then he also has his shoes here. Um, he has a container as well. Y'all, this is what's left of the things that need to be put away back into the closet. I, for one, am so tired. I'm so, so tired. Sean got all his clothes. He just has his shoes because the shoe um, shelf isn't here yet. But I'm just here trying to organize, watching the Atlanta Dream and the Dallas Wings play my hometown versus my current town. I, for one, am very tired. Looky, looky. Not him. Don't mind him. Look at the closet. I am so sorry y'all had to experience that vacation like that. 
The whole time, he's rude. The whole time I was on vacation, I was like, dang, why can't I get this color right? But now my white balance is on auto, and look how white my closet is. Dang, I haven't been on this camera in so long, child. I done forgot how to record properly. So you gonna paint the wall? So the walls are still wet and so, um from the filling in those big old holes that the things leave. Um but I'm happy. I'm so happy. This is probably gonna be hella loud because I don't have my muffler on. Um my husband wants to know if I'm going to paint tomorrow. Yeah, will you? I can paint today. Oh, it's only, man. I can't. I well, gotta I make. I have to make my homemade tomato soup. <laughs> that I never finished showing y'all the closet so I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek I still have to fill in the holes so come back for all the jazz so we have the shoe storage back here see all these holes like that's just gonna take way too much time those are showing shoes we're eventually gonna get some clear boxes And then these are his clothes on the top. Those are my shoes. This is his pants. And then we have some empty space. And some things I need to figure out. <laughs> um, and then these are my skirts and pants and shorts. I have them hanging on this cute little rag, which y'all can see in the beginning. And then I have my tops. And this is my dress, uh, jumpsuit. You know, I love a jumpsuit, so yeah. And then here I have my sweaters folded. And Sean has the same. Um, don't y'all in his business. And then I finally got a chance to organize my bags. So, one is missing back there because I'm about to wear it. I'm getting ready to go up to my job. Um, so, yeah, everything's organized. And you can see everything now. Like, if I open this drawer, boom, I could just stick the socks in. Um, but today we're getting our fence stained. Finally, I'm sure our neighborhood will be glad because I mean the wood don't look bad, you know. We don't do we don't do ratchetry. You know, and let me show you. Let me, let me show you. That's a more accurate color because of the sun being behind the camera. Um and then this is the deck. Let me go on the other side so y'all can see with the sun. Yeah, so they're both very, um, like, reddish color woods. And they don't look bad. It's not a bad thing. It's just that, you know, it's time. You don't want them to start rotting and looking nasty. Lighter or darker than Her 
I was saying earlier that I was. Well, do you do you need help? Would that be helpful? Cause I can help. But I can help if you need help. Your body drive me crazy. Your body need a license fit. Your body are too tight to need. Anybody who got eyes can see. It's been a busy one. Hello. Okay. Yeah, it's been a busy one. I just finished my cakes. And I put my lip gloss on them. I hate when I don't look my skin tone on this camera. Anyway, I'm back with my brown, pretty brown skin. Oh, um, yes, yeah, so I just put the lip gloss on them, which if you know, you know. It's just some simple syrup, which is equal parts water and sugar. I only did a half a cup of water, half a cup of sugar, cause girl, ain't nobody got time. So, and then I leveled them off. Not level, but I just cut the domes off. I'm trying to keep as much um, height as possible. So, we got that going, and then I'm about to wrap those up and then put them in the freezer until tomorrow. Yeah, until tomorrow. So, see y'all. I don't know where we are in the vlog, and I don't know how I got to this point where having two dead batteries, but I'm gonna give y'all a quick update, and I'll be back when these batteries charge. I had to move my fridge out because, ugh, turbulence. I have two cakes being prepared for the weekend. I'm working on the cupcakes. I'm gonna charge these batteries because I want y'all to see that I'm doing a really cool idea that I haven't done before. Currently making buttercream over there. I'm having a good day. I just baked some cupcakes. They're cooling off. So I'm gonna go before this dies and doesn't save. Cool like the highland breeze. You know what you want and need. But Nova, I'm gonna pass me. You used to say you didn't know love. Used to say you need to grow up. I know you know. Say you want to get up, go. And I know you know. You want to wipe out the white song. Remember the first night when you get tricky, when you get nanos. Before that, we are chill with no well and party, a jar and party. This ain't funny. But our bathroom is semi. It ain't flooding, it's leaking. Okay, because we've been through a flood. This is not a flood in Jesus' name. This just a little leakage, but honey, let me tell y'all something. Stay in the apartment. Don't be in a rush. If you know you're not responsible yet, if you know you're not, you know you're not observant, just stay in the apartment. Just stay at the apartments. If you if you don't read boxes that tell you what not to mop your floors with, are you not ready to start doing it? Now, I don't know if every homeowner be out here having stuff going on with their house every five months, every three months. But it be the most random and stuff. Like when you lived in an apartment, you never experienced that. And then boom, you get a house and it's like, what? So, yeah, it is what it is. Hopefully, the person who put it in there can fix it, figure it out, because we didn't do that. Don't get my